Alrighty, we're in our uh, second day of planting. Thought I'd talk about some of the technology in the cab I'm using. Uh, one thing I know for sure is my uh, row markers are not compatible with nighttime planting. So they're just barely scratching out the surface here and uh, I'm following. Most of the time things are just going well so I can just uh, look straight ahead and then periodically check the chain to make sure it's on top of the row. Um, I'm going about four miles an hour, nice and slow. You can see this pass, I'm going over some old uh, wheel tracks. This is probably where I made a sprayer pass in the fall. So I'll give it a little slower speed to let the row units set in. Anyways, my technology in the cab, this is a 1980 John Deere 4440, pulling a 1980 uh, John Deere 7100 planter, and uh, I got a four row plant population monitor from Sensor One. Uh, it's kind of hard to find something this small, but I was lucky, I think I found it on eBay, it was like 150 bucks, and um, this thing is really useful um, because it tells me how the row units are doing. So if, uh, for example, one of the fingers goes bad or something, I can tell there's going to be a difference between row to row um, population and I can do something about it. Uh, another time I got in the field and I had engaged the planter drives, so that told me something was wrong too. Overall, it's a good investment. Um, keeps things going. Uh, one downside is uh, it does need to know the, the wheel speed or travel to give you a really accurate uh, count. So I just have a, a lookup table where I entered a number for the speed I think I'd be going most of the time. So usually my count is within a couple thousand of what my setting was on the John Deere planter. And after a couple years, um, I've seen my John Deere planter is a little optimistic compared to the setting, so I always get a few more seeds out the planter than I actually uh, set it for. A lot of times my uh, plant population would equal the seed setting which I guess is good, so I know if I'm setting it for 30,000, I'm gonna get 30,000 plants. So I guess it's about 5% to 8% too high. I'm on the longer section of the farm. This is a quarter mile rows. So it gives me a chance to kinda relax a little. I'm really happy with the residue conditions. Um, they're crunchy. So my uh, maintenance over the winter has, has been good, and my burn down three weeks ago, I believe, um, was timed good, so everything was dead and um, crispy. You can see uh, behind me, the row cleaners are pushing away the residue. It doesn't look pretty. Um, if I can get the row 70% clean, that's probably good enough. And it also keeps my uh, soil in place if I get a pounding rain next week. You just never know in Texas. Um, we can go a month without rain and then we get all of it in uh, one day. And uh, you have to be able to survive that. Uh, keep your nutrition in place and keep your seeds in the soil. That's a little bit about the technology in the cab. It's kind of like we're farming back in the late 70s here at Two Happy Children Farm.